guys, what's up? Uh, back with another video. Uh, this time, um, as you can probably see to the left, we have my W, my wrestling game collection. Um, let's do this, shall we? As the boogeyman gives me the evil stare, I'm gonna get you, boogeyman. <laughs> I include this one first, uh, because you know it's got wrestling in the title. Uh, Simpsons wrestling, just a little bit of fun. Uh, you know, it's a fun little game. I like it. It's fun. Yeah, uh, yeah. Then we have next. Uh, we you know you saw this one the other day in one of my DVD, one of my pickup videos. We have WCW Mayhem. Um, pretty pretty cool. Uh, you know, I like going back and revisiting old games. Even though it is weird, what even though it is weird, looking at the graphics like compared to what we have now, like it's it's crazy. And the controls are a bit weird, but, uh, as you can see that there, you can see the Stinger and Goldberg. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, then we have Attitude. You get it? We have, uh, yeah, Attitude. Uh, I didn't have this when I was a kid. I didn't have that one either when I was a kid, so, uh, yeah. With, uh, but, you know, I saw it last year and I thought, why not? You know, add it to the wrestling video game collection. And we have uh, SmackDown 1, which is always freaking cool. Always cool to have SmackDown 1 in the collection. Man, so many memories as a kid watching it, playing this game. So many, so cool. Speaking of uh, uh, childhood memories, Know Your Role. SmackDown 2, Know Your Role. Awesome, awesome stuff. Looks great. This is where you know, you've got Hell in the Cell, you've got casket matches, you've got ladders, you've got different people. You got a uh, SA Rios in that in that game. That's it. That's a name right there. And onto the PS2 versions now. We have one second. We have uh, Legends of Wrestling 2. Uh, pretty cool game. I had this when I was uh, back in like 05 or something, and. Uh, I love the game, and not then I got you know, when I got PS2. When I re got my PS2 last year, um, I thought, why not you know, re get it? So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like, it. I love it. It's awesome. Speaking of childhood, another childhood, uh, another childhood game of mine. Uh, SmackDown, just bring it. I haven't really played much of it since I re got it, but uh, last year, but uh, pretty cool. I love it. You know. The inspiring commentary of Taz and Michael Cole, the first, I think it was the first video game to have commentary, and it was very, very funny, it was like, uh, Taz is one of the greatest of all time, the big show is one of the greatest, you can tell like, you can tell they had lines and then they just added in the person's name like, Stone Cold Steve Austin is the greatest, one of the greatest of all time, yeah, you, you get the picture, if you've seen, you've probably seen the, comment, like, the commentary, it's pretty funny. Then we have uh, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. Awesome game. Absolutely love it. Uh, you know, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. You know, they got The Rock, Triple H, Kurt Angle, getting his head shaved by Edge. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the ownership, the 50-50 ownership of Ric Flair and Vince McMahon. The, the next big thing, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar in the care, doing some luxury boxes there. And Hulk Hogan and Triple H. What you gonna do, brother? Pretty cool game. Love it. Awesome stuff. We have the uh, SmackDown vs. Raw. With Vincent Man on the front. You get it right, damn it! I'm on the front of this car. You can't stop me now. Yep. Uh, I love, yeah, pretty, pretty cool game. Not as, you know, not as, mem I don't like it as much as other games, but it, it's still up there. Still good. Still got a lot of memories of this game. Playing, you know, playing career mode and, you know, and uh, other stuff, you know, like pay-per-view mode and stuff like that, pretty cool. Have uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 on the, you know, we got, uh, this is a really cool game, I like this, you know, uh, we got Batista, Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Carlito and Shelton Benjamin, The Undertaker, casket matches, which have made, have made it to turn, and also, because I don't have a case for it. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Which is phenomenal. 
phenomenal game. So uh, keep it in there. Just uh, I know you're not really supposed to stack discs, but uh, I don't know where else to put it. So oh well. Next 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 one we have one of my favorites. Uh, really awesome tracks. So you know the main menu music on this is fantastic. Uh, the game itself is good too. Um, don't just watch it. Live it. No thanks. Unless I uh, have my um, no, no, I'll keep that. I'll keep that from my my, my mind while I'm thinking right now about don't just watch it. Live it. <laughs> uh, things got a main PG on this channel, right? Uh, anyway, Triple H on the cover there. We've got you know Spider-Man Seven. It's pretty cool. Like it. You know, uh, another. I, I'm, I'm just going to be re repeating myself. There's a lot of these games I had when I was a child and then I got rid of. And then, because, you know, I got a PS3 and all that stuff and, you know, and upgraded and stuff. But then, I just missed these old games. So, I, uh, when, you know, I got, my, I got, I got a, another, I got a PS2 last year and, uh, and then, you know, brought back these games. Brought, brought back, brought, the, brought these games. So, anyway, onto the PS3 versions now, the PS, PS3. First off, we kick off with TNA Impact, the video game. Pretty, uh, I like it. It's pretty awesome. You know, it's not. It's a pretty uh, bare bones, really. You know, it's like the career mode and a couple of other stuff, but pretty cool. It's always nice to have a you know different taste, you know, different company video game. Hopefully, AEW's game lives up to uh, the hype, and hopefully, you know, that's good. Uh, always be nice to have a different company. You know, always different, you know, thingy. So, yeah, uh, TNA Impact video game. Always loved the, this era of TNA. Like, you know, I always said for a long time, like, TNA back then used to be my brand. Like, that used to be the thing I used to love watching. Now it's like, you know, wrestling in general. <laughs> so, yeah. Bit of a wacky game right now. The next one is a bit of a wacky game, but I still like it. Uh, WWE All-Stars. Uh, it's a wacky game, you know, very cartoonish, but, uh, it is what it is, it's fun. I remember playing through the, uh, the WWE Superstars vs. Legends, uh, whatever it's fucking called. The fantasy matches, yeah, the fantasy matches, I played that, looked at it, the video packages on that was so awesome. I just remember going back, watching the, the, the video packages, and that stuff, good stuff, awesome. I like that. Pretty cool. Not the best game, but it's fine. Then we have SmackDown Mystery World 2008. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, not as good as previous games, but, uh, you know, some, some legends in there, like CM Punk, Tommy Dreamer. I think this is the first of the ECW to be involved in the game. So, yeah, pretty cool. Bobby Lashley's last game for a while. So, yeah. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um... Love this game. Next, 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 next one. Uh, we have SmackDown Mystery World 2009 featuring ECW. Uh, this is where you know you have like the tag teams, uh, the tag team um, stuff, like tag team encounters, uh, creative finisher, inferno matches, and then we had the Road to WrestleMania, which was a good improvement on a lot of stuff. I love the Road to WrestleMania stuff. My personal opinion. My personal opinion is I like the Road to WrestleMania stuff. So. The next couple of, is going to be just uh, me praising the Road to WrestleMania. I love those kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, this one, anyway. SmackDown Mystery World 2010. Uh, really good, too. I really love it. I really love playing as the, uh, the, the, the newer superstars, like, you know, like, uh, the people who went in the game the year, the year previous. This also had Crazy Story, which was also fantastic. Get my, my get my creative side going. Pretty cool. We have SmackDown Mrs. Raw 2011. Uh, pretty cool game. Uh, sorry if I'm repeating myself a lot. It's just that I don't really know what to say. Like I just sit back and what they play the video games. Like and, and most of the time, enjoy them. I enjoy more some more than others, but for the most part, I just enjoy the game. Otherwise, I won't buy them. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it is what it is. SmackDown Mrs. Raw 2011. Pretty cool. I like the creative storyline in there. That it gives you more options. Uh, WWE 12. Uh, this is where they changed it. Where they changed the uh, you know like the, the cameras and 
experience the new WWE, faster, simpler, smoother. I like the universe mode because it actually gives you like the pyro and the opening, uh, the opening intro. Like, and now WWE presents WrestleMania. You know that kind of stuff. I like that. You know, it's always pretty cool. I uh, got some new characters like Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk with the uh, Cult of Personality theme song. Uh, Road to WrestleMania was fun that year. It was like it was split up into three different stories, but it all was connected to each other. Like you had the Sheamus story, the villain. You had the hero story. I think it was the the comeback story or the hero story with uh, Triple H, and then uh, the Jacob. Oh, Jacob Cass thingy, which was voiced by Austin Aries, and you can tell it was Austin Aries because he does a lot of Austin Aries moves, like brain busters and that dive through the bottom rope, through the uh, bottom rope. But yeah, and the, the invasion of WCW, pretty cool. Love that that kind of shit. Pretty cool shit, I say. Then we had W13. Uh, this is the uh, where they got rid of Road to WrestleMania and they brought in the Attitude Era mode. Which I love the attitude here. I loved the attitude here, and uh, getting to relive it. I mean, not not relive it. Getting to do you really call it real? Do you really call it reliving it if uh, if you watched it via you know round video packages and you know other DVDs? I guess not. You know, I can't really say. Can't really say that kind of. Um, it was it was it was fun to go back. It was fun to what you know get some of these you know to do some of these attitude era things like. All the stuff like, you know, the Brett and Sean stuff and Kane's debut and Stone Cold and Rock and all that stuff. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to see. The ring break was the first one you could actually do. Um, that was pretty cool too. Brock Lesnar making his, you know, Brock Lesnar too. Awesome. Love that game. And we have 2K14. Uh, 2K14. The first one of the 2K franchise. Pretty cool stuff. You had the, the road to WrestleMania, the, uh, 30 years of WrestleMania stuff. It was awesome to relive, and uh, it was really good. The the the, uh, the the sounds were a lot better that year. You know, the the, the, the how the mat would sound, how you hit the mat. It was it was it sounded a lot better. You have two K fifteen on PS three. You probably see it later in the PS two uh, PS four version. Yeah, pretty cool game. The, the it, it, I think with them going to uh, PS four, they kind of took away a lot of the engineers, like the crazy story stuff and all that stuff, but. You know, he had the, you know, he had the, um, the showcase mode. They they brought that in instead of, um, they brought that in instead of the road to WrestleMania and stuff. So, that was, you know, it's Shawn Michaels and John, it's Shawn Michaels and Triple H's rivalry and the CM Punk John Cena rivalry, which is always good to relive. Then we have a uh, 2K16 with uh, Stone Cold on the front that goes through Austin's career. Pretty cool game. Let's get on. Let's uh, continue to show it. Then we have uh, 2K15 on PS4. You have just gone through that one just, so we don't need to go through it again. Uh, same with 2K16. 2K17 was the first game that I brought, and it was the first game that I remember buying, and I remember being bored two hours after I brought it. So, I don't, you know, it's not, uh, the, it was like the bare bones. They got rid of, like, they got rid of showcase mode, and they got rid of thingy, so... It kind of was nearly, really nothing to really nothing to uh, do on that one. Some of the characters were fun to play as, but apart from that, eh. uh, SmackDown vs. 2K18, same kind of same kind of problem as the um, 2K17. Apart from the fact that I actually enjoyed this game, still play it to this day. Pretty cool. Uh, 2K19, oh man, still love this game. I, play, I still play it today. Uh, I get my creative side out of this one. Uh, this is the career mode returned on this one, like an actual story-driven career mode, and uh, showcase return with Daniel Bryan. Awesome stuff. 2K20. Not going to mention too much about that. You know, you, you if you know, you know. And uh, 2K22, a massive improvement. I don't think I need to say that, but a massive improvement on 2K20. Awesome stuff. Love the game. Awesome stuff. So there you go guys, there's my uh, WWE, there's my wrestling game collection, hope you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what your favourite wrestling game is in the comments below, and I'm out, have a nice day.